This video is to show you how to move your electric drums into your computers with the MIDI. Look how it picks up all those snare notes. In my case, I'm using the Alesis Nitro mesh drum kit and it has a USB MIDI system that you can get a cable to plug from the drum module to your PC. First, what you have to do is download some software. Um, Reaper is uh, free. It's free for 60 days. There's like an evaluation period. Just go through the prompts. Once you have that downloaded for the drum sound, go to Steven Slate Drums. They make uh, drum kits that you can pair with your MIDI for the sounds to actually come out. Once you have Reaper and Steven Slate Drums both downloaded, you can go ahead and open Reaper. You want to make sure that your drum module is plugged into your computer via the USB. And then you can go to Options, Preferences, uh, go to MIDI Outputs and find your device. In my case, it's the Alesis Nitro. And make sure that uh, it's enabled by right clicking and checking Enable Output. Then you go to uh, MIDI Input and do the same thing with your device. Enable Input for Track. Uh, enable all of these. Make sure that the control I little icon is there. Hit apply, hit OK. Now go to insert virtual instrument on new track. Since you downloaded the SSD, uh, you can find it here. Steven Slate, hit add. It's going to bring in some new tracks for you. And you also have this really cool uh, drum kit that you can bring in. I'm going to bring in the Deluxe 2 free edition. I'm going to make sure it's mapped correctly, so if I hit my snare, it's already mapped. If I hit my crash, okay. It's a little bit of delay on it, so here's what I'm going to do. Turn off my desktop audio. I'm going to set my metronome to 93, we'll say. Pull up Reaper here. Make sure that this track is armed, or they call it, yeah, record armed, and hit record. And we're recording through the MIDI. Alright, so we'll go ahead and stop this recording, turn off the click, and now we can kind of analyze what the MIDI was doing while we were playing. Every time I hit the drums, it actually made a note that you can go back and play. Here's where it gets crazy because you can actually change the drums. So say I made a mistake, I can grab this snare and bring it over here. I can add new notes. I can cut this. Let's just see what happens if I just throw notes in here. Oh, that's probably going to sound a little bit off. Let's hit play here. Yeah. I mean, you can really go back and fix your timing issues um, once you've recorded, which is, you know, a real pro move. If you found this valuable, please subscribe, and I'll be pushing out more drumming content.